Hey, does my hair look cool? Oh yeah. Hey guys, what's up? FPV Matt here. So uh, this is kind of a little funny Christmas story. It's December 31st, Chris New Year's Eve, Christmas is done. We put the tree up, it's all over. This is the last piece of Christmas stuff left. This is a uh, little chocolate orange thing. So a few years ago, uh, Shauna got one of me, these for Christmas for me in my stocking. I'd never heard of such a thing. And uh, I really love them. It's like a chocolate orange. So it takes something you know healthy like an orange and turns it into unhealthy. It's, it's like a chocolate orange. So funny story on this thing. We bought this. Uh, like in early November when we went shopping and, and I saw one and I hadn't seen one in a while and I was like, oh cool, I'm going to get one of those and I bought it and I got out to the car and I was going to crack it open and eat it, eat it and then I was like, wait a minute, this is for Christmas. We have these in Christmas. They go in stockings. We can't just, I just can't eat one now. It's not even, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, it's not even December yet. So, took it and... I hit it. I put it on top of a cabinet and I said that's going to stay there and it's going to be something we're going to enjoy on Christmas morning. We're going to have a piece of this delicious chocolate orange. Well, hey, it looks like I forgot. Forgot I was up there. Sean said, hey, whatever happened to that chocolate orange? And I'm like, oh yeah, it's still up there. So this thing I've been looking forward for, you know, about a month I forgot all about. So anyway, it is now time. We're going to crack open the chocolate orange. Oh, look at that. So you, it just is so cool because it peels out and then there's this, it's already all sliced up for you. And you just break, oh, you break off and you get little slices of chocolate. Mmm. So good. So good. So you guys might be wondering, like, what's up with the headband? Well, I've noticed that all of the FPV flyers, you know, they all seem to have some, like, signature thing. Like Joshua Bardwell, he likes to wear skirts. Um, Driv, he likes to wear makeup. Uh, and uh, uh, Nurk has a beard that's like a mile long and so I thought you know I'm gonna get this I found this this morning cleaning under the bed this is my sweet 80s um, heavy metal I don't know thing okay so anyway this is not a video about chocolate or about uh, whatever this is this is a video about your first drone so if you're a noob I'm a, I'm a, I'm a beginner I mean I've been flying drones now for a couple months um, racing drones I still consider myself a beginner and because I'm still a beginner I have this unique um, maybe outlook that some people aren't gonna have so that's why I think I can maybe help you a little bit alright so your first racing drone and you're cheap you want to save as much you don't want to spend very much you want the cheapest cheapest option that's what this video is about so you've got two options you can buy one of these kits okay this is commonly available on Amazon or eBay I spent $109 on this kit or you can the another option you can go pre-built and get yourself an Isheen wizard from Banggood uh, you can get it you can find these other places besides Banggood but they cost a whole lot more like this is a, a wizard x220s so it's not necessarily their cheapest beginner model that just be the regular x220 if you wanted to get a regular x220 on um, Banggood it's $139 Problem is, you're gonna maybe wait. I waited over a month on this thing. I waited um, actually from the day I ordered it to the day I got it, it was almost two months. Like, I think seven weeks. This kit I ordered on eBay and it arrived in two days. So, um, you gotta you got consider if you're gonna buy from Banggood, you better be expecting, you know, a wait. Now, it may not take you that long. Some people, maybe I just got a really bad shipment or whatever. I had issues. Maybe you might get yours. You're still probably gonna wait at least three weeks, I think, if you order from Banggood. So, if you got patience and you're still trying to decide, you know, like, which one should I get, I wanna talk a little bit about the pros and cons. First off, you're gonna have to build this. And if you don't know anything about building stuff, that's probably gonna be a problem, all right? And you see, I've done a pretty bad job. I got wires loose everywhere in there, but nothing's broke. Everything is, you know, nothing, none of the wires can actually reach a prop. They're all sort of in there. I need to go back in and like actually fix them and tuck them in underneath stuff and make it look a lot better. Um, but you know, I'm still, I'm a noob, so it's okay. All right, but anyway, so this is a ZMR250. Now there's other kits, I was just checking kits. There's a kit on Amazon right now for a 220 drone that the frame looks identical to the Isheen. The Isheen's a 220, so it's a little smaller. You see, not a big difference, but a little smaller. Um, so, 
Advantages to buying a kit. You have to build it. That doesn't seem like an advantage, but it is because you're going to end up breaking it. You're going to have to fix parts on it. If you put it together, you're going to be able to do that a lot easier. I've learned in the last month and a half so much about electronics, so much about soldering, so much about just how this stuff works. Seriously, I've learned a ton from this, and I would have never learned that had I not, you know, built my own. If you go with the Ishin route, you get this out of the box, it's almost ready to go. You still have to figure out how the radio works, and if you if you buy one that doesn't come with the radio, you're gonna have to put a receiver in it, which is, you know, probably, you might be able to plug it up, probably gonna require some soldering skills. So, you're probably gonna have to do some of that stuff anyway. Um, I actually bought, this was a my first, you know, first purchase I made. This was the X220S ready to fly, and I think I paid one, um, I think it was right 220, two something like that, 180, two, I can't remember now. But anyway, it, it did come with a Fly Sky radio that I totally have, don't need anymore, and it come with a receiver that I totally don't need anymore that didn't work very well to begin with anyway. So, um, okay, so other things. Um, besides the fact that you're going to have to build this, this is actually quite a bit lighter than the Wizard. Uh, I haven't weighed them, I'm not sure, but it feels like, I, I bet there's at least 50 to 100 grams difference. This is quite a bit heavier. No battery thing. Now this little plastic camera mount weighs a little bit, but I mean really, it's mostly just extra weight. Um, I don't know why the Ishin weighs more. <laughs> uh, it does have a full-size camera that's heavier. It's probably got to do with the LED lights. They stick LED lights on it here, here, here on the back. Um, it's got these carbon side plates, which are probably going to come off because they keep, I've been having issues with them. They kind of want to pop out anyway, and they're kind of stupid. They don't do anything. Um, so those are probably going to come off anyway. But for some reason, yeah, the Ishin is definitely heavier, and uh, it flies different. Also, you know, you generally, this is was made for four cells. The regular Ishin uh, Wizard is, is three cells, but uh, I've, I've actually noticed the difference in, in flying the weight-wise. They fly more or less the same, but the heavier drone, it does seem to be a little bit more quick to fall under lower power, but you know, more or less, they're gonna fly about the same. Now, I haven't been totally honest about, you know, are they equal? Well, $109 got me everything except for a camera and a video transmitter, and I bought this fancy antenna. So I got the motors, I got the um, speed controls, I got the flight controller, I got a power board uh, and the frame for $109. And it's all out of date. Nobody uses, this is like a six year old design. It's not very used anymore. It's not, you know, it's kind of considered to be kind of junk um, <laughs> for some reason. And um, it come with an F3 flight controller, which is kind of old and out of date. You know, everybody switched to F4. Uh, this F3 flight controller doesn't have OSD, so I can't get any like information on screen display on my goggles. Um, but $109, and I got to build it. And I knew, you know, I, I, I probably could have done a lot better if I'd picked out the parts. Um, if I'd ordered from BangGood, I might still be waiting on them. But I could have definitely picked out some better parts, uh, probably, and spent around the same amount of money and got a, a somewhat better drone than what the kit offered. But anyway, okay, so what else, what else, what else? Besides flight characteristics, um, and if you just got the regular X220, uh, not the X220S, you're going to have the same F3 flight controller. And price-wise, this plus camera, plus the FPV, uh, the transmitter, the video transmitter, would be almost the exact same, really, really close to the exact same price as a Wizard X220. So, you know, honestly, if it was me, I would just find yourself one of the kits and build it. Um, it might take you a month to learn how to build it, but it's better to be actually working on it and learning than to get one, wait a month to get one, that you're probably gonna break in a day and have no idea what to do. So now I know how to, I'm, you know, all this stuff that I would have never known with this, wire comes unplugged, what the wire is, where it goes, what it does, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, that's pretty much it, guys. 
If you're looking for a new beginner drone and you're trying to decide between the Ishin Wizard and a kit or picking your own parts, the Wizard's cool if you just want one quickly put together. If you could if you could get it in two days, like or you know, um, a lot quicker, I would highly recommend it. But I'm just not a patient person and, and with Bang and with Bang Good, you just I don't know. I mean everything I've ordered from them has been at least three weeks, if not longer. Um, you could try the U.S. Warehouse, but uh, last time I checked, they didn't have Ishin Wizards in the U.S. Warehouse. So, who knows? Okay. Hey, um, keep flying.